Hello, my name is Ben Carson. I'm a philanthropist, politician, author, and a surgeon. I was born on September 18, 1951, and I'm 67 years old, and I was born in Detroit, Michigan. My mom always pushed me and my brother Curtis to read and believe in ourselves. I went from being a poor student to receiving academic honors and eventually attending medical school. I studied at University of Michigan Medical School, John Hopkins University, Southwestern High School, and Yale University. As a doctor, I became director of a pediatric neurosurgery at John Hopkins Hospital at the age of 33 and earned fame for my groundbreaking work separating conjoined twins. I retired from medicine in 2013 and two years later, I entered politics, making a bid to become, become the Republican candidate for U.S. president. After struggling in the primary elections, I dropped out of the race in March 2016 and then became a vocal supporter of Republican nominee and former rival Donald Trump. After Trump was elected president, he nominated me to become the secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development. My mother was raised in Tennessee in a very large family and dropped out of school in the third grade. With limited prospects in life, she married Baptist minister and factory worker Robert Carson, my dad, when she was 13. They moved to Detroit and had two kids, two kids, which was me and my brother. But Sonia, my mom, eventually discovered her husband. My dad was a bigamist and had another secret family. And they divorced. Robert moved in with his other family, leaving my mom, me, and my brother financially devastated. I graduated with honors from Southwestern, having also become a senior commander in the school's ROTC program. I earned a full scholarship to Yale, receiving a BA degree in psychology in 1973. I enrolled in the School of Medicine at the University of Michigan, choosing to become a neurosurgeon. And also, in 2012, I published America the Beautiful, Rediscovering What Made This Nation Great. On May 4, 2015, I launched my official bid for the Republican presidential nomination at an event in Detroit. And lastly, to end it off, as the campaign continued, I became one of Trump's most loyal supporters, stumping for him around the country leading up to election.